Howdy y'all, my name is Price and welcome back to some more Slime Rancher 2! That's right, we're back. We're doing it. We got our, we got our, uh, bats over here that we made last time, our fire bats. Anybody play, uh, StarCraft? Anybody play StarCraft? You know, fire bats? Anyway, <laughs> um, we've also got this, uh, Tanuki slime, this ringtail slime. And my apology- oh, I don't think I've been out this way. This is probably just another way out, huh? Or does this go to that other... Oh. Um... So yeah, uh, I have been playing a little bit on my own, but I am not allowing myself to get any farther than we have here. So, uh, I haven't learned anything new while out and about doing that. Um, though I have kinda been, um, figuring out some strategies and whatnot to get this stuff up and running quickly. I really could just run around, set up a corral or two for a little- or set up all the corrals, feed them for a couple of days, and then we'll have enough money to buy pretty much everything we need. Um, it's so interesting that this is out here. I bet... Well, maybe not. There may eventually be something over here. Even if it's not like a full thing. But what I love when they have these little islands. I bet you, if you fly out there, which you probably can, maybe like you go from here to here and then there to there. Uh, there, there no, there's something out there. Definitely on these ones. Yeah, this area's got a little archipelago. There might be something on that that looked just like a, a rock to me, but maybe there'll be more. Um, okay, anyway, so where do we want to put this ringtail slime? Well, first and foremost, let's... Uh, get ourselves- oh, the pomegranates. Is this a pomegranate tree? I think it is. Not pomegranate, pomegranate. Um, pomegranate is what I should be saying. Um, so yeah, let's grab some of these plorts while we can. I still don't have an auto plort collector on them, but they do seem to be fed, so we're, we're good there. I must have fed them right before we ended last time. Um, so what do we want to do today? I would like to get the ringtail slime set up somewhere, which is what we're going to focus on right now. Um, continue to upgrade all of our stuff just so we have lots of food and lots of everything. Um, and then, you know, from there, we move on. Alright, we got our dugs over there, we got our anglers. I'm trying to reacclimate myself with what we have here. Oh, okay, so we only have three on this main area. I thought we had four. Well, then our next corral will go here. Ringtail slimes can eat anything. So, I'm wondering if we want to go out maybe and get, like, um, some... We could do crystals. I could keep trying to find those butterflies a little bit further out. Because um, I, I imagine, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming, right? So we haven't really been all the way back here or all the way back here. I'm assuming they're like here. And that maybe there'll be like a flower field. They could also be over here. I don't think I've ever been over this far. It's hard because I haven't found the map revealers. But I know I've gone farther than like these zones. So I'm guessing they're out here or down here. Um... Maybe they are here because we got anglers over in here and that's the only special thing over here. And we have anglers over here. We have the tanukis. We have the bats. So I haven't seen bats or anything over here. So maybe this is where the butterflies are. It's like the one unique thing um, on this side. Um, I also want to go out here. I saw this on the side when I was moving around and I need to look at this because the shape of it reminds me of something and it I think it may be what it is and if it is I'm going to maybe cry um we will see so with that let's go ahead like I said I'm going to make a little bit of money here so that we can um do, 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 afford the pen uh for the um ringtail slime and then we will figure out uh, what we're doing from there. Oh man, I don't even have the extended backpack. We got a lot of science that we need to do as well. I want the jetpack today. I want the jetpack today. I might even say I need the jetpack today because y'all, it's tricksy getting around like this. So let me quickly go and look at what that's gonna cost us. Oh, love the, love it when you can make a lot of money very quickly in this game. It just makes it so much simpler. Okay, jetpack, what are you gonna cost me? Phosphors. I can go with that right now. Uh, and how much do you physic? How much do you cost money-wise? Easy. We've got it all. Cool. We'll go get some phosphors. I can also get the tank booster. Extra tank. We need to find some silky slam, but we can do that. All right. You know what? Let's buy the the tank booster. And we'll go get the stuff for the jetpack. That's gonna help a ton. That is the jetpack's gonna be the key factor here. So. Part of me wants to just go ahead and, um... Wait, do we not have phosphors? I thought we had phosphors. I guess not. I guess not. Okay, well then, we're gonna do... Um... 
Ringtail phosphors. No question. Easy. Now, I know I could put them in the cave, but uh, I like the idea of having them out here for now. So we got that. Is that all we can afford? Okay. So then, uh, Ringtail, you'll go in here for now. I'll give you a couple of parrots. You can eat anything. I read your, I read your file. I read your file. Yeah, there you go. Um, now, there should be some phosphors uh, out in the range because it's nighttime. So we'll go get them. We'll come back. We'll feed everybody. Oh, it's becoming daytime. The sun is coming up. Phosphorus, do not perish. If we're unable to get some, we're good. Um, I was going to say, I know there's a phosphor gordo out here somewhere. I bet I could find it because I know he's in this side. Have I been up in there? Or maybe he's like underneath or something. Um, okay. So, any more phosphors? Or did I is, did I get the one? Did I get the only one that we're going to be able to find? If that's the case, I'm okay with it. I'm glad we got one. Oh, there we go. Boop, boop. All right, get rid of these. You. I need to get as many of y'all as I can. Well, five plus the one is six. Maybe one more. Just got to run by all the... Yeah, I was like, I just got to run by all the spawn spots. <laughs> okay, let's take them back. Oh, by the way, I love all of your ideas for what this guy is. Some of y'all were like, oh, yeah, I can see a chef. And a lot of y'all were like, it's a beret, Price. And then you're like, oh, it's an artist. He's a musician. He's a poet, right? I love it. This guy right here, yeah, he is the most creative and artistic of all the slimes. You know why? Because he sits and takes it in. He sits and takes it in. Now, this guy, this is the model of all of the paintings, okay? This is his muse. So what are the names? What are the names of the muse with the with the cute little flower on top? I just realized. And then the artist. Let's find out in the comments down below. <laughs> oh, man. I love that. You guys have also been giving me great Largo names. I think one of these days, it'll be a little while because uh, I'm going to record a ton of episodes right now. It's a Sunday that I actually have opportunity to, and I want to get really far in this so I can get far in my own file. Um... Look at his little face. He's so sly. Look at his little sneaky face. <gasps> I love that. The eyes. I got I to get a couple screenshots of this stuff. Look at them. With their tails. Oh my gosh, the tails are so, so good. I'm sorry, but that little face, that little sneaky little, I'm going to do a crime. <laughs> like, that's what it is. It's like, don't, don't, don't walk away, or I'm gonna do a crime. I wonder if they'll, like, bust out. I'm worried about what they'll do. It, all it said is, like, if there's a crime, there's a slime. So, you know. Got a lot of hens. Awesome. I would love to grab some sea hens. I would love to breed sea hens. Um, you know, once we get all of our stuff going, once we have a lot of different slimes, I could just make, like, a chicken farm somewhere, you know? Um... Oh, we got an elder. Oh, both of our roosters are old. Okay. So we're going to need to get some of these guys out of here. I don't think we've seen, like, a tabby gordo or anything, have we? I don't think we have. So we're going to feed these guys to these guys. Um, and, yeah, let's, let's, do our, let's do our rounds. There's all your food. Y'all eat heartbeats. That's right. So y'all can have those. We don't. These guys, they're the lettuce. Where is my lettuce? Where do I grow my lettuce? Oh, up here. That's right. That's right. I should eventually move all these farms around. I mean, there's a lot I should do. Um, but, uh, yeah. Okay. So, y'all. Oh, whoops. Wrong guys. Those ones want the harpies. But, I mean, they're all, you know, they all got plenty of food. We're good. Now, these guys over here, they're the tricky ones because they'll only eat fruit or meat. Oh, but they got plenty of Q-berries in there for right now. Okay. Um, Let's go out into the wilds because uh, I still need to get... Oh, no, I need phosphor plorts. That's right. I need phosphor plorts. And then we can make the jetpack. That's what I was doing. Uh, can't afford the auto... Do they all have- they all have the sly eyes! I love it. Look at them. Look at these beautiful, sneaky buttheads. They're- they're- they're thinking of something, y'all. They're- they're planning... 
They're planning something. Okay. That's enough screenshots, all right? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. They're just too cute. Um, Y'all over there can have these. Boop, boo. And... Y'all can have some of those. And... Do, 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 do. Did they make it in? Did they make it in? Nah, just before it. They bounced. It was just a little bit too low. All right. From downtown. Oh, wow. Even that. Boop, boop. Um, okay. Let's quickly... Oh, I need more of... Uh, more of these phosphor plorts. That's seven. I think I needed eight. We'll grab ten just in case. All right, cool. Oh, and then the money. Then I'm going to need the money. So what do we sell? Well, we can sell some of these. I know I also need to store some of these, so we'll actually store these. I'm going to go sell the honey plorts or the angler plorts. Those should make me some good money. Um, are these guys still hangry? All right, they're doing okay. They're doing okay. They'll, they'll last the day. I need to get another fruit tree going, I think, so that I can handle the um, these guys. Oh, yeah, that's right. I got the tank booster, so I can hold 30. I was like, wait, why am I holding all of these? Um, I'll need some more fruit for those guys, so I may end up, like, moving the coop or something. I'm not sure. We'll sell a chunk of these because I probably only need, like, 15 or 10 or 15. Um, uh, and we'll put this one ringtail plort away. I'm sure I'll need it for something eventually. Boop. Boop, 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 boop. Having the jetpack. Oh, y'all, I'm going to be so excited. It's just like I'm back to Slime Rancher Basics, you know? All right. So now out in the world, we can find upgrades for these, right? All right, we're looking for Silky Sand. That's the other thing we're looking for. All right. Let's, let's, let's jetpack it. Oh, so happy. Chrissy was saying that she was trying to get up there because she has the jetpack. She's been doing stuff. Um, maybe I can, maybe I can do the same. Huh. Oh, right over it. <laughs> Let's try again. Just, just goofing, just goofing. Cool. Ah! Dang it. All right, we'll try that later. They're a little round, but we'll try getting up there. Maybe we can get on top of that tree. I could see them hiding. A thing up on top of the tree. Uh, I could also see you being able to get up there, but if there's something up there, I think we would see it from below, right? Whereas something on top of the tree can be hidden by those branches. All right, let's get out into the wilds. So what were we trying to do? We need silky sand. We want to explore further. We we have our jetpack. Oh, I wanted to show. I wanted to see what this is. Um, and yeah, I guess mostly exploration. Mostly exploration. We got we got new upgrades. I, I'm already forgetting what I said at the beginning of this episode. Y'all, ADHD is for real. Um, okay, I need to get some more coffee. That'll help too. Uh, boop, 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 boop. I will do that in between episodes. Oh, hey! That's deep brine, but deep brine's still useful. Cool. Th oh, I did it! I love that. I love when the accidental boost happens. <laughs> I uh, don't know what it is, but every now and then I told y'all about this that one time. Like, it's like you glance off of stuff and you just get launched. I'm, oh, cool. Um, I'm sure that it's just like a glitch for now. Large pink bonsai. Ooh, I also want to start decorating not too long from now. Like, we're getting to the point where we've seen a lot of the stuff. We're starting to develop a lot of the, um, the technologies as well as the... Oh, can I get up here? Oh, can we get all the way up? It's like, I wonder, I'm just going to quickly, yeah, okay, okay, no, no, overcorrecting, okay, um, can we get to that guy? I think we can, okay, shouldn't have done that with low amounts, all right, we're, we're getting up here as high as we can, y'all, if I fall, then, you know, I fall, okay, we can land on this. It's nice to be able to just land on, like, a little more stable of a spot. Okay, and then I'd love to get up on you. Can I get up there? From here? Come on, come on, come on. <gasps> Open pod! Open pod! No! <laughs> Alright, so there is one there. I, this time I'll just get up on that tree 
Um, and I should be able to do it. Wait, 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 wait. How did I get up there in the first place? I thought it was right there. Well, look, we saw that there's one up there. I thought it was right there that I got up there the first time. We'll try it. We'll try again. Um, or was it? What? No, it wasn't because I launched myself. The launch only got me up to like here. Okay. Maybe I need to get up on this tree. Oh, we're going to go back that way, maybe. Gosh, gosh, gosh. You, you easily, like, glance off of things if you're not, like, right in the center. Okay. That one. That has to be the one that I got to. Yes. Okay. And then we go around the corner, I believe. Because I don't think I can just glide up the side of this, can I? No. That rolls you off. Okay. <laughs> if I don't make it this time, we'll just we'll come back to it later, because it's not... Oh, God. Oh, God. It's not that crucial, necessarily, that I get all of the uh, treasure pods, but I also do like getting it while I know where it is. Okay, y'all, yeah, literally every time I'm landing on these, my feet in real life are, like, feeling it. You know what I mean? Like, I can feel my legs kind of, like, pushing down to try and make sure they, they touch the ground. Okay, we land on that one, and then maybe we can get up there from there. I need to be careful not to put myself in a position where I'm over this pit, which is what I did last time. Okay, so I don't think I can make it straight up here, but if I aim for this part, I can at least try. Got it. Okay, cool. Boom! What are you? Slime stage! Cool! So now we can make our faves. All right, we're going to get all the way to the top, y'all. All the way to the top. Then we can get a cool vista shot, maybe. Well, look at this guy! What's this guy's name, y'all? Who's the guy that lives on top of the hill? This is cool. We're going to do a little slow pan, y'all. There's the teleporter over the Ember Valley. And we'll go this way. Oh, we got some big ruins over there. Oh, that's probably where all those slime doors go. Remember, there's a bunch of those slime doors in there. We saw the volcano over there. Big old tree. I wonder what's underneath that tree. That could be where the butterflies are. Got all this area. Wow. So cool. So cool, y'all. So, yeah, that's the, uh... That's where all the, uh, anglers and stuff are out that way. Neat. All right. That's super cool. <laughs> I'm glad, like, when we accidentally, like, stumble onto stuff like that, you know? Have we gone in here? I think this is where there was a... A thing, wasn't there? Yeah, yeah, that's where the treasure pod was. Okay. Heading up. We're going over to the Amber Valley. Ember Valley, I think. Is it Amber or Ember? I always do it. I think it's Ember. I just keep saying Amber. Do, do, do. Okay. Heading out. So we definitely want to grab resources if we can. Um, trying to think. Because I know that they've got, like... They probably have Silky Sand out here. I'm pretty sure they do. I know they have primordial oil. Oh, it's going to be so much easier to get around. All right, I want to go to those ruins, like, first thing. Because, like I said, I think I know what it is. And and I'll, I'll explain it when I get there, regardless of if it is or isn't the thing I think it is. Oh my gosh, having a jetpack here is next level. Okay. Oh, you can totally get over there. Should I go the coral way? I don't know if I can, if I'll last on my energy from here, but I could probably do it from up on there. Let this kind of taper off. All right, that'll do. Okay. Oh, and there are slimes over there. That's so interesting. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay, guys. I'm... Fairly certain that this is, or at least is modeled off of, something that was in the original Slime Rancher in one of the earliest builds. It was these ancient ruins. They used to be in the place where, like, the quantum area was, but it was it was there from very early times in development. And they got rid of it when they added the new ruins. But this looks just like that did. It looks just like those old ruins did. It's a little updated, I think. But... I want to know, <laughs> is this the same? Like, I got to go back into my videos 
from ye olden times to see if this is what it is, because I saw it on the map and I was like, oh my gosh, I think that's those old ruins from the early builds. And like, to see them reusing that, to see them bringing it back in a way, but different, I mean, to me, because I experienced that so long ago, is like, this is incredible. This is like, I'm so excited. Even if it isn't that, it looks a lot like it to the point that I would say it's at least inspired by it. And I would love to hear what Nick and the rest of the Monomi Park team have to say about this ruins area. Accessing the GG log. The first time I was here, I turned this entire ruin complex into a beautiful garden. I'd never known the original purpose of this place, but I thought its creators might be happy, knowing that far into the future, someone was making sure it still had purpose. There's no time for that now, but I'm going to at least plant some of my favorite flowers right here and hope that in time, they'll flourish and cover these ruins once more. Maybe if I ever make it back home, I can see it myself. Inter Sorry, what does it say? I'd never known the original purpose of this place, but I know th I thought its creators might be happy, knowing that far into the future, someone was making sure it still had purpose. Is that not a statement about reusing an old asset from a previous game that they put a lot of effort into but then didn't use? That, I mean, look, maybe this is my conspiracy theory, but I'm pretty dang sure. I mean, it's definitely not exactly the same. Like I said, there's been some, some updates and some changes, but it is incredibly reminiscent. Is there anything down here? No. I thought maybe there would be like a, you know, what do you call them? A treasure pod. Okay. Well, like I said, regardless, this makes me think of that zone, and that alone makes me incredibly happy. Okay, we're heading back out into the world. It pretty much, it only has the default slimes, which actually, <laughs> I think, gives more credence to my theory, because when it was made, Phosphorus tabbies, pinks, and rock slimes were probably the only slimes in the game at that point. Um, wow, I really hope that's the case. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna have to like tweet at Nick and take a picture of the original one, and then take a picture of this one and see if that's what it is. Because, yeah, like I said. For me, it's like, it's it's almost an emotional experience. I mean, it is an emotional experience. This whole game has been an emotional experience for me. Not to get, like, super into it, but I guess a lot of y'all do really care about my feelings towards this game. I'm tearing up just thinking about it. But I played the original one at a very tough time in my life, and so I think it's part of why I have such fond feelings towards it. I'm getting a little choked up here, y'all. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, y'all can hear it in my voice. I'm sorry. <clears throat> well, not sorry. These are my emotions. You're feeling them with me. Uh, okay, we got this stuff over here. Okay. I, I know that y'all can... Y'all know that my... My tears are tears of joy. Okay. Let us... We're gonna get all these... Oh, wait, did I get that? I didn't even grab that while I was up there. I think it's primordial oil. Yeah, we'll find more. We'll find more. Um, where am I at? We're heading out this way. Okay, cool. We're heading into zone where I don't have the map yet. I, I'm pretty sure I've been to a significant portion of these. But now that I have... Yeah, this is where the booms are. Now that I have my jetpack, I think I'll be able to get a lot more out of this than before. Um, let's go get this primordial oil. I don't think I came out to this area. Oh, look! Hellbats! Um, come here. Nope. Nope. Boo! Boo! I just want this stuff, but I don't want to get too close because I'm aware that this is actually lava. Oh gosh, where'd they go? Come here. Come here. All right. Every time you step in those, man, you realize, oh, it's lava. It's a pool of lava. I love that this zone is in it, though, right? Like, this, like, magma zone. It's just so different from stuff that was in the original. They did such a good job of, like, varying this game up so that even though it is incredibly similar in many, many, many ways, it is also so different. Uh, okay, we're gonna keep it going. Definitely haven't seen all of this stuff. Ooh, we got some palm trees! 
We got palm trees. That's telling me we're getting into a different zone altogether. Okay, where are we at? We're out here. Let's. We need to find the map thing. There it is. Oh, cool, 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 cool. That was just good, good positioning there. We got lots of fruit. Oh, I thought those were butterfly wings <laughs> hiding over the hill. Um, all right, where, where did I say that was? Up there. I could probably just get there from here, huh? Oh, there's a cave here. No, it goes out the other way. Don't want to do that. Can I get up on top of this guy? I can. And I'll get up on there, and then we'll go over there. That's easier. Or it's safer. I could probably have gotten there just from the bottom, but... Okay, and then we got one of our GG messages out there. Oh, there's probably a gate. I didn't even think about that. We're probably going to have to go through a gate to see the butterflies. This right here. I bet it's closed off for now, or maybe we just get a small point, but this will lead to another area. No question, right? That's that? Yeah. I'm guessing that's closed for now. Oh, no! That's a boom slime, Gordo. Oh! Well, I definitely need to find some more roostros, and we need to be breeding a lot of chickens. Um, we might want to make a couple coops to make that happen. All right, here's what we're going to do. Oh, wait, does this not turn into lava? Oh, it doesn't. This stuff is actually solid. I thought some of this ends up being, like, turning into lava, but I guess not. All right, but we're getting tons of Primordi oil, which is great. I'll eventually want to get some... Is that oil or is that silky sand? Lava dust. Um, uh, I don't remember what I was going to say. I eventually want to get something. Uh, all right, you. Y'all told me that if I just go up close enough, he should still appear on the map. I just need to, like, touch him. Ah, cool. So, we definitely want to bring a bunch of hens out here. Luckily, we could fill our inventory with, like, a bunch of different types of hens, and that'll cover it. So, while I want to get another rooster and take it home to start breeding more, I will also just be trying to bring uh, hens uh, back with me the next time I come out here. We're going to take the resources back this time, and then we're going to gather hens all along the way back here, as well as bring whichever ones we have at home. There's only a handful. Um, and hopefully that will handle it. But yeah, I love that there's this whole area over here, this, like, lava area. Whoa! Whoa! Didn't see that there! <laughs> Let me grab that, uh, stuff first. Jeez Louise. I was not ready to get launched up like that. Y'all could tell, I think. I just backed up onto it. Legitimately did not see it here. Nice, that jetpack help. Okay. All right, just lots of lava. Oh, cool, another treasure pod. Find all kinds of stuff. Medium red ashwood, okay, okay. I'll tell Ash we found his tree. Okay, we're gonna just get up as high as we can. Just give me a sec. Get the energy back. Okay. Uh-oh. Not high enough. How am I going to get all the way up there? I mean, I guess I do want to get on the trees. Like, you go onto here. And then I can get across there, and I can go across there, and we're getting up. Cool. Oh, and there's that other GG thing, so we can see the GG message. I'm really curious who Gigi is going to be. Like, if they're from the original game, or if they are just this whole new character. I never managed to conclude if the prism of waves caused all this lava to erupt to the surface, but I believe it did. The rainbow grass and iridescent rocks, all lovely to see, and the ecosystem seems to coexist with it to some degree. But this lava, this is the breaking point. My guess is it started like it always does. It creeps up a few degrees over the years and you hardly notice. And then one day, you realize you're cooking. Ugh. I wish I had a dog to pet right now. Aww. Okay, so there's some, um, I would say some, uh, climate change analogies going on there. It's a slow burn, but it's a burn nonetheless. Oh, we got some ruins up here. That's a neat sign. Okay, cool. Cool. See plorts. See pink slimes. I mean, I think we're getting on top of that sucker. Whoa! 
Those are some bonkers ruins. All right, here we go. Throttle it, throttle it, throttle it. We're good. Okay. Hen hens. Nope, that's not onion. Those are hen hens. There's some radiant ore. Gimme. So, what I think I should do, I should also make another one of those teleporters and bring it all the way out to this boom gordo. Because if I come all the way out here, I'm gonna want to be able to just teleport back. Uh, okay. Rather than now, I have to run all the way back. Okay. Is there unique stuff down here that I would want to drop onto? Sometimes the game does that, right? They want you to, like, loop all the way around. Where am I? Like, have I been on top of all this stuff? I don't think I have. I think I've seen it from the other side. I think I've looked up here from over there, but I don't think I've ever made it. But I think I kind of just needed the jetpack last time. Um, well, we're going to try and get all the way up top. Just like we did before. We're going to the highest heights, y'all. Okay. This tree is going to be my next bet. Or the one next to it. This one's too high. This one's too high. So we've got that one. And that should be just a little bit taller. A little bit tall enough for to help me, I think. Well, maybe not. Maybe it isn't higher. Whoop. Get on this tiny little edge. Which one's the highest point? I really can't tell if that tree's higher. Oh, doesn't matter. Okay. We're getting on top of this thing. I dig it. I love this. And then that'll help us get back sooner because I'll be able to just, like, fly a straight shot at least some of the distance. Okay. We're going to want to look around at all these, like, nooks and crannies because there may be some, uh... What do you call them? Treasure pods. I think I can get up on that one. Don't fall. Oh, nice. Good timing. Look at this. We're almost at the very top. I might be able to get up on here. Ha <laughs> ha This may be the highest point you can get to right now. I mean, we're pretty high up here. To the point to where the fog obscures pretty much everything. Which I think is pretty neat. Just trying to look and see... If there's anywhere up here that I think there could be some hidden things. Because <clears throat> otherwise we're just running along the top here. Oh, that place is pretty high too. Where's that? I'm looking in that direction. That must be like on top of this guy. Yeah. So I might head that way. Just see if there's anything else over there. We're just going. But this is an ex exploration episode, y'all. Exploring the, the extent of this... I guess just of the Ember Valley. So maybe next time we'll spend a lot of time on the other side. I don't remember what that one's called. What is this place called? This one. Oh, you know what? I can look in the Slimepedia. Right? Conservatory. Rainbow Fields. Starlight Strand. That's right. The Strand. Okay. Starlight Strand. That's a great name. What's down below me here? Oh, that probably heads into a cave. Okay. Are those trees? I think they're trees. Okay. Oh, there's a treasure pod down there. Part of me wants to get it, but part of me doesn't want to, you know, have to, uh... To fall down. I want to I stay up top. Oh, they're shells. They're like fossils. Cool. We're going to get up there. But, I need to take a break real quick. Okay, y'all, back at it. So, we're gonna try and get as high up as we can. Oh no, oh no. We have fallen. Eh. It's all right, we can make this work. Easy peasy. Okay, um, still wanna get up here. So we saw the boom slime out that way, or the boom gordo. I wonder if we can find any more on our way back. We're going to take this stuff back. Um, okay. Do, do, do. Just looking around. 
Doesn't seem like there's anything else up here at the moment. I want to go look off the edge here at least. A lot of y'all have talked about how uh, me walking so close to the edges is a dangerous thing. And I don't know what you're talking about. I've never fallen off a cliff and lost all my resources. So, you know. Couldn't imagine what you're talking about. I wonder if there's stuff over there. I mean, obviously I need to try getting over there. That looks... I mean, there's at least a chicken over there. Uh, but, let's pop home. Let's uh, deal with this stuff first. Put away our resources. Let's feed our slimes. <laughs> They're getting a little hungry. And then we're going to be working on the... Um, popping that boom gordo. I mean, I think that'll be the goal of next episode. Um, yeah. I think that would be quite helpful. We didn't find... I don't think... Yeah, yeah, we didn't find any silky sand, which is unfortunate. I know where we can go to find some um, around the map. At least I remember a couple areas. Um, but yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna do some now just, like, taking care of our slimes. I need to go check the ones in the cave. Luckily, if the ones in the cave get out, they won't get out, get out. You know, they'll stay in the cave. Uh, and then I just lure them in with promises of delicious fruits. How are y'all doing? These guys over there are not happy. I don't think I fed them enough when I left, which, fair enough. All right, we're growing so much food, I love it. This is where you want to be in this game, where you're kind of developing, like, a surplus of food. Do, 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 do. And, did we get you on out of here? We did not. All right. I'm not going to set up an auto-feeder for y'all now. I want to hold on. I want to float a little bit of money for a bit. Uh, oh, y'all need... Y'all need Q-berries too, but I only have one Q-berry tree. So for now, y'all are getting carrots. Because y'all can eat anything, and we have lots of carrots. Y'all obviously get all of the lettuce. Because that is definitely... I don't have auto feeders on any of them, huh? Wow. For some reason, I thought I did. Alright, y'all can have all that. Y'all can have all this. We should be in a good position for... Plus we made. I love how their little tails stick out the back. <laughs> Don't know if that was intentional, but it's great. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll make the pork collector here. See? See? I'm glad I held that money. Alright. So all the plorts will get picked up. Let's do some plort selling. Make some monies. Um, and that'll be... Oh, you know what? I should also put away some of these slimes in the science machine, shouldn't I? Like, uh... I know I need some anglers in there. Um, so actually what I'm going to do, let's put that back. These ones that are left in here will be for science. Um, and we'll, we'll do that next time, which means there's a 50% chance I forget. But because I'm going to be recording right after this one, maybe not. All right, ringtails are worth 38. Not bad. Let's try to look at the prices of everything else. Oh, we need to get hunters again. That's right. That's right. So ringtails aren't that cheap, right? They're 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 pretty solid up in that mid to high mid tier of of uh, value. I'm sure once we get more of these ones out here, you know that's that gap's gonna widen. Um, do we have crystals? Don't think we have crystals. So we can do crystal hunters, or we can look for um, the butterflies to. Uh, to breed with them, maybe. Um, let's sell these. And like I said, we'll go check on our, our fire bats. Uh, and uh, and that'll be where we end this episode. Um, I uh, I tweeted at, uh, at Nick, the uh, developer, the CEO of uh, Monomi Park, the original developer of the first Slime Rancher, and asked about the, uh, the ruins thing. Uh, and so we'll see if he has anything to say about that, if he responds. He might not. Dude's a busy guy. Just launched a huge game. They sold bonkers amount of copies, which uh, is fantastic. Any success for Slime Rancher, I would call a success for all of us. Oh, this area is kind of cut off. Okay, that's good to know. Let's go check on our baddies. And that'll be daddy. Do, do, do. We should open up these other areas, too. I've got three grand. I could spend money on that. Like, obviously, you don't need it, need it. You know, I could build more corrals with that. I could upgrade the corrals I have. I could make more farms, you know? So, I think there's, there's some stuff I gotta think about on that end. Yeah, these guys are hungry because I didn't feed them recently. But now you got plenty of pomegranates. 
Oh, and we will put an auto plort collector on here. Perfect. So, yeah, I think, if I'm not mistaken, the ringtail slimes, just by the way, during, in the daylight, they turn into stone. Um, so you have to, like, I think they need solar shields as well, like the um, phosphors. They don't die like the phosphors. They don't disappear, but they turn to stone, right? And then they wouldn't be able to eat or make plorts or anything like that. I think that's the case. It wasn't just me getting lucky and kicking it off a cliff. <laughs> Uh, like I thought it was. It was right as I kicked it off the cliff. I think it shifted to nighttime. <laughs> like I just, the timing was impeccable. Uh, okay. Selling these. And that's going to be it for today, y'all. Um, yeah, let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and say uh, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, um, like, subscribe if you're not already. Um, leave a comment down below. That would be incredibly helpful. Um, you know, it, it lets YouTube know you want to see more of my videos when you do that. And if you go and watch another one of my videos. So comment something down below. If you can't think of something to comment, maybe comment um, uh, the conspiracy of the ruins is true. I believe it. Something like that. Um, but <laughs> with that, y'all, most importantly, uh, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I have been Price, and I will see y'all next time.